So I was riding my bike around the neighborhood, just got my training wheels off, and somebody threw out this amazing computer. Looks like Mr. G's gonna do some gaming today. In all seriousness, I am kind of a dumpster diver. I uh, pretty much, if there's a computer on the side of the road, odds are it's gonna end up in the trunk of my car or I'm gonna carry it home because uh, it's very rare when I find a computer that's not salvageable in some regard. This is probably the nicest computer I ever saved. It's an HP Pavilion A1523W. And this one was pretty high spec when it was built. It even had built-in firewire. So when you see that, you know it was pretty cutting edge at the time if it was capable of working with video. The previous owner had also put in a discrete video card. So I have a feeling this computer had done a little gaming in the past. This is the first time I ever found a dual core computer in the garbage. Usually I find older Pentium 4s that are really sluggish by today's standards, but this thing is really snappy. I was really impressed with it. It immediately powered up for me. Uh, but uh, as soon as it started to boot, it went to a Windows blue screen of death. Well, for anyone who knows Windows blue screen of death, that's the end of the computer. You basically throw it out. And uh, so I carried it back to the uh, side of the road and left it by the garbage can. No, I'm just kidding. Usually the blue screen of death is almost always a software problem. So just reinstalling your Windows will fix it almost every time. And sure enough, even the original uh, 250 gig hard drive that came in this computer was perfectly fine, no bad sectors, no issues, um, running like a top and boots up really quick with Windows XP. What I love about my gaming PC today is it cost me zero dollars. All I had to do was rescue it from a garbage can and all the hardware here is working fine. The other nice thing about it is Windows XP is largely an abandoned OS and the games for it are all abandonware nowadays. You know, you can easily download a lot of these games for free and the copyrights have pretty much lapsed because it's just, you know, the games are like 15, 20 years old now. A lot of these software publishers have pretty much abandoned these games and have focused on modern gen stuff. So that's enough of the talking. Let's see how my new gaming PC actually plays games.
This isn't a military operation. I can't let you boys go down there. Doesn't sound like you have a choice, Captain. All right, you win. We don't know what these scumbags are up to down there, but we do know their leader's name. Saber! Saber, the plans fail! We got hostages! Whatever it takes, I want those explosives detonated! Kill Saber, you've killed the gang. Understood. John, take this entrance. I'll meet you at Station 6C. Good luck, Hawk. Guys!
may be shady under the L, but the action... Corporations is suspected of smuggling arms into the colony. Unfortunately, we are yet to determine which corporation is to blame. We have received certain details from an informant suggesting that the latest shipment will be arriving on the next inbound transport. The inventory lists 10 cargo containers which are. I think you can tell I'm really happy with this particular gaming PC. Uh, I didn't really have a machine that could run a lot of these older Windows XP games, and Windows 95 games, because, you know, the operating systems back then were 32-bit, and now OS's like Windows 10 and 11 being exclusively for 64-bit computers. It's a real nightmare to get this old stuff running on it. It's just easier to have this little dedicated machine, and the price was right.